what's going on everyone so if you guys live in like the tampa bay area you guys know how redfish snook and speckle trout have been closed and it was supposed to open up on or in may of this year but the cca and the fwc have just passed it where it's going to be closed for a whole nother year and won't open until may of 2021 that kind of limits everything or it doesn't affect me too much because i don't catch and keep those fish very often but I know a lot of you guys do do that and it kind of affects you but it's going to help the fisheries a lot so that, that could be a whole different topic but what I'm doing today is I want to show you a species that you can catch and that you can keep and it's very delicious and very easy to catch and that's the sheep's head. I might try a couple different ways to try and catch some sheep's head today but the first way and probably the best like most fun way to do it is to try and sight fish them so that's what i'm going to start doing this morning i'm going to go around these uh oyster bars and the sheep said like to hang on the oyster bars and i got some live shrimp hopefully i can stand up on the yeti and kind of ease my way around with the troll motor and see if i can see these fish and sight fish them to start the morning all right so this is the rig right here just have a live shrimp on a 2-0 live bait hook right here Got 20 pound fluoro leader, about a three foot section of this because the water's pretty clear. On my Pen Clash 3000, on my San Croix Mojo Inshore 7.6 medium light power rod. On there, I got 15 pound braid. The perfect setup to be casting these light baits, like a free line shrimp, especially since I'm casting it with the wind. I've got something. Little baby red. <laughs> I wasn't even recording. Little baby redfish just came up and ate it. That's some cool bycatch. Just talking about you. We can't keep you in here way too small anyway. Alright, see you dude. All right, so the only thing I got at that other spot was just a little rat red. So now I'm gonna fish this dock that you've seen me fish a couple times. I've had good luck with getting some sheep set here. It's just a bunch of pilings, a lot of oysters on them. So it holds a lot of fish. So I went ahead and threw a, an egg weight on because it is like eight feet deep under there. So I threw a little egg weight and a little bead on and now I'm just gonna put some shrimp on and cast it under there, see if I can get one. I like to take the tail off and then feed it through like that. Puts a lot of scent in the water that way. Make sure your drag's tight when you're fishing a lot of structure. There we go. There we go. That feels good. Probably a decent sheep. Oh no, I foul hooked a sheep. How do you even do that? How's that possible with the circle look? As bad as it sounds, got him around right the anal fin. Sorry, dude. He's definitely too short. Yeah. Sorry to get you there, bud. See you, dude. Put it right back in there. It's a good sign. There we go. Not a little sheep. Don't think he's gonna be big enough. He's 10. Oh, see you, dude. Sorry about that. There we go. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's... What is that? Oh, that's a good sheep. Come on. Come on. Flip him it. Oh, that's my one right there. That guy's definitely a keeper. There we go. This guy is going to be part of a catch and cook today, I'll tell you that. Get a measurement on him. Right there. He is 15 inches. Perfect size to keep. You're going to be some good fish tacos right there. Awesome. You're doing a catch and cook today. Let's keep fishing. I'm super excited to try make some fish tacos. I haven't done this in a while. I've actually never tried it with a sheep's head before either. So like all my recipes, it's gonna be super simple because I am not a good chef at all, but it's gonna taste really good. So I'm gonna keep fishing, might as well. I got all these shrimp. I'm gonna keep fishing, see if I can catch any more just for fun, really. So I'm keeping track this year 
of every species of fish that I catch and the biggest of that species. I'm doing like a little fish tracker. So, so far this year, the biggest sheep set that I've caught was 16 inches. So let's see if we can break that right now. What is this? Oh, another little sheep. He's definitely not gonna be 16 inches, I'll tell you that. Little tiny guy. See you, dude. There we go. Another little sheep. Tiny sheep. This one's dark. I like the coloration on this one. This one's cool looking. Barely out of muck. There you go. Another little baby sheep. See, dude. Oh, that seems like a good one. Maybe not. He was just wrapped up. Yeah, he was just wrapped up. Another little guy. I honestly lost count of how many sheep that I've got today. This is amazing how many of there are in just this one. Like I keep casting in the same exact spot and keep getting bit. I've tried casting like at other spots in the dock and haven't gotten anything. See you, dude. Another small, super dark one. These little guys are adorable. You're adorable. He's like five inches. See, dude. Oh, all right. Got one in the box, so I'm happy with that. Let's go ahead, get him filleted, and I'll meet you guys back in the kitchen. All right, so we're back in the kitchen, and I'm gonna show you a very simple recipe because I don't have a lot of stuff, and I'm very tired and very hungry right now, so I don't wanna spend too much time to make fish tacos. So I'm gonna go ahead, show you everything you need. All we're doing is we're just gonna pan fry the sheep's head and then put in the tortillas and make a little tacos out of it. So it's super simple and I'm gonna show you what you need. So you got your olive oil right here for frying your fish in. And then I have the panko seasoning that I like to use, the breadcrumbs. I like to put some Old Bay in there too, just to kind of spice up the flavor a little bit. And then we have our taco ingredients over here. So we got some tortillas, some cheese, a little bit of uh, diced up lettuce, and some salsa right there. And of course we have our fish. This is the sheep's head. Looks really good. I think I'm gonna go ahead and cut it up a little bit. So it's small little uh, chunks. It makes it a little bit easier to put into the taco and then I'll fry it that way. So the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and start heating this up. Probably go to like a nice little medium heat right there and go ahead and put our olive oil in there. Just enough to cover the bottom of the pan. Right there, that should be good. All right, while that's heating up, let's go ahead and get our panko breading all situated. So I just grab a little Tupperware with a lid right here. Go ahead and put panko in there. Now, I like to take the Old Bay and sprinkle some of this right into the panko, just to give it a little extra flavor. I really like the flavor of Old Bay on fried fish especially. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the fish up into a little bit smaller uh, size chunks just so it's easier to kind of throw it all into the taco. Basically just making like little fish nuggets right now. So there we go, just little nuggets of sheep's head right here. Makes it super easy to fry it up and it makes it a lot easier and kind of like flaking and making it fall apart to put it in the taco. I just thought of something, since I don't have eggs, which I usually make like a little egg wash to put on the fish before I put it in the panko just so it sticks to the fish a little bit better. Since I don't have any eggs right now, I'm gonna put a little bit of olive oil on the fish itself before I put it in the panko just to see if that will help it stick to the fish. There we go. We got our fish all oiled up now. I'm gonna go ahead and put it right in the panko. Go ahead and throw all these little nuggets in there. Put that on there. Shake it around. There we go. That's looking good. Time to fry the fish. Oh yeah. This 
this really won't take long at all since these are small pieces. While these are cooking up, I'm gonna go ahead and start warming up some tortillas in the microwave. These seriously look just like Chick-fil-A nuggets right now. Here we go. Got some more hot tortillas. If this really only takes like a minute or two on each side, just gotta wait for it to be golden brown. The fish is pretty much done, so I'm gonna get these tortillas ready. Gotta stack them up like this. Just throw the fish in there. There we go. We'll go ahead. Sprinkle some cheese on that. Two very full fish tacos from that sheep's head, so. I'm very curious to see how this turns out because this was incredibly simple. I did this in like, like seven minutes. I got this whole thing done in like seven minutes. Take a bite, see how it is. That is so good. The fish, the breading, the fish, the everything tastes absolutely amazing. Like that alone, you could have just ate like nuggets, but the fact that you put like cheese, salsa, lettuce on a tortilla, make it into a taco. You, you can't go wrong with this. It's incredibly simple and very good. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. That would really mean a lot to me. If you wanna see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.